we're at the gallery um, out the front of Jar Rock and um, Gary has just delivered an amazing new piece of furniture. Tell us about it, Gary. Okay, so this is the next edition of the GPR collection of outdoor seats inspired by Grandpa Royce up in Gerald. Um, so this piece of wood is actually very, very special. I've, I picked it up off the side of the road in about 1996, the year my second daughter Rose was born. And it was about to be bulldozed and burnt by the main roads as part of a road clearing. So I got a mate in the high and we snuck out about six o'clock at night and um, did a stealth mission to collect it. And it was in our workshop in York for 15 odd years or 10 years. And then it's been in our workshop down here for about 10 or 12 years as well. Just waiting to trying to decide what I was going to do with it. It was such an amazing bit of wood, I didn't want to just do anything, you know, so I've been thinking, thinking, and then one day I thought I'm going to start attacking it, and maybe it'll come to me. Um, and I had a few ideas of putting another seat around the outside here, but I just couldn't bring myself to, to cut it. It's so beautiful right, right around the outside. So I ended up opting to go to tread lightly, I guess, if you should say, and just keep it really simple. So I've carved out all the inside, I've cut off all the charcoal from the outside. Carved the inside out, I had to dish this section here out about four inches so that I could get a seat back into it. And then I've kept the seat fairly minimal so I didn't want to have anything under here. So I just made a few small incisions and put some big pegs in there to support the seat. And blind fixed it behind our little logo there. And that's actually beautiful Jarrah Burl in the seat. And the timber in this, the timber in the tree is actually really beautiful as well. You can see where I've cut back to the fresh wood there. That jarrah is just incredible. Um, I've also couldn't help myself. I thought you're sitting in there. It's a meditative sort of thing sitting in these chairs. So I carved a little spot for the, for the cup of tea. So you can sit in quiet contemplation. This piece of wood's actually quite amazing. When you get inside it, well, I certainly do, you feel there's an energy in here. It's, it's got, you can almost feel its spirit. So that's why I wanted to be so careful about what I do with it. You feel like you're inside the tree. It's, it's amazing. So you'll be able to sit here and sip a herbal tea and dream on. So the same with the outside. I've kept this all very natural. I didn't want to oil the outside. The inside's all finished with a nice natural oil. But the outside, I've just left it raw, so if it goes out and it's in the weather again, it's just going to go nice and silver. Um, get that beautiful silver colour that we've got here from the bits that weren't burnt. So this will all silver up with time and just look magnificent. And I've named it the Survivor because I figured, you know, it's probably been there pretty white fella, I'd imagine. It's probably a two or three hundred year old base of the tree. And it survived goodness knows how many fires and then it even survived the main roads. <laughs> and it survived our fires here in Margaret River as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. It's actually a very special piece, so it's not gonna be easy to part with this one. It'll sit here until the right person comes along.